Slower eating is often said to be an easy trick to lose weight. But is this actually true and does slow eating work? So here's what the research says. To figure out the role eating speed plays in weight loss, we have to distinguish between the two main aspects of weight loss. First, there's the physiological aspect, which says that the calories and nutrients in food have an impact on your results. So the larger your calorie deficit, the greater your weight loss. This is pretty obvious, of course. And then there's the psychological aspect, which says that another thing that matters are your habits and lifestyle, because they have an impact on how much you eat and what you eat, which then in turn influences your calories and nutrient intake. Let's start with the physiological aspect of eating slower. Does it help your body take in less calories somehow? Actually, the opposite is true, at least when you assume that people who eat slower also chew their food better. There are studies showing that our body takes in more nutrients and energy from food when we chew it longer. That's because it's better broken down by the chewing and digestion is therefore easier. That said, the difference is fairly small and you shouldn't worry about it too much. So don't start swallowing your food as a whole if you want to lose weight. Not only would this lead to stomach cramps, but as you will see in a second, slow eating comes with some benefits you don't want to miss. So the bottom line in regards to physiology and calories is that if you consume the same amount of food with the same amount of calories and nutrients, eating slower would not lead to more weight loss. It could even lead to a very minor increase in energy intake. But like I said before, don't worry about it. Let's now look at the psychological impact of eating slower. This is also what most studies focus on and where you will likely see an impact. Here's what I mean. There are a number of studies showing that people who self-report as fast eaters tend to be heavier than those who say they eat more slowly. Some of the studies followed the participants over years and also noticed that those who said they ate very fast would gain weight at a faster rate, sometimes more than twice the normal rate. But how can this be? We just saw that if everything else is equal, eating speed doesn't really impact calorie intake. Well, the answer is simple. Everything else wasn't equal. It wasn't that the fast eating made those people overweight. It's that the fast eating led to more overeating, which made people overweight. This happened because your appetite, and therefore your calorie intake, is largely controlled by hormones. When you eat, your gut will release hormones, telling your brain you're full. Two hormones that play a big role are ghrelin and peptide YY. These hormones are like messengers, letting your brain know that you're eating and therefore taking in nutrients. The more these hormones rise, the less hungry you will feel, and once you feel full, you obviously stop. What's interesting is that this process does not happen instantly and can take some time. It differs from person to person, but anywhere from 5 to 20 minutes is a rough estimate. So if you fall on the higher end of that range, your brain will need up to 20 minutes to signal that you're full. That's why people who eat too quickly tend to also overeat. When their brain starts to signal that they're full, they have already consumed more than enough calories. There is one study that illustrates this perfectly. I like it because they fed participants of normal weight 300 milliliters of ice cream at two different times. During the first session, everyone was instructed to eat the ice cream within five minutes. During the second sessions, they were told to eat it within 30 minutes. Then the scientists measured their ghrelin and peptide YY levels, showing that eating slower led to a better response of peptide YY than eating very fast. Now, while there are other studies that found no increase in satiety hormones, they did find a significant increase in fullness for slower eating. What this means is that for most people, eating slowly will give your gut enough time to signal your brain you're full. This in turn will keep you from overeating and helps keep your calories in check. In terms of practical advice, you should do the following if you want to take advantage of this effect. First, turn off distractions and don't eat in front of the TV. Eating with friends or family is always a good thing and should be made a daily habit. If you're alone and really can't keep yourself away from the screen, choose a 20 to 30 minute show and make your meal last the whole time. Next, you always want to include vegetables in your meals. They are high in fiber, need a good amount of chewing, but are low in calories. And lastly, simply pay more attention to what you eat. Preparing your meal yourself and knowing what it consists of 
often helps people limit their food intake and keep total calories in check. So to wrap up this video, here are the main takeaways. Eating slower does have weight loss benefits, which are mostly psychological, and it also gives your body enough time to send out and recognize anti-hunger hormones. But it's not some magical hack and should always be part of a good diet and healthy eating habits.